I just take this opportunity because it's one of the most large, I think one of the most packed, uh, packed auditorium of time that I've seen in a long time. I have had the good fortune of serving in culture for about four years and now for about three years here. So I've been here on a lot of occasions. One of the things that first comes to my mind first is that the amount of struggle women had to go through those phases to achieve what was their birthright. How can you have Saraswati with the Veda on her hand and prevent a lady to come with Saros on her hand? It's, it's just not understandable. What happens in our civilization is that from time to time we go through those phases when amnesia takes over all of us and a certain degree of retrograde thinking rules society. With every struggle, these, these, um, these uh, constricts, these hurdles are removed and it requires some of the finest souls on this planet to come forward and take up this task. I am reminded of Rukmini Devi, what happened when she got up um, to the stage in December 1931. I may be wrong by a year, by 1931, when she got up to perform Bharatanatyam, which till then was the preserve of Sadir, of the, of, the, of the professional dancer. And the first row that was filled up by venerable pundits were led out of the auditoria by, um, by Pandit uh, Nathias and Shastri. They just couldn't bear a Brahmin girl coming on the stage and dancing like you know what. But she stuck to her ground and today when India has literally thousands and thousands of practitioners of Bharatanatyam, we all ladies practicing Bharatanatyam, we owe it to the first person who broke new grounds. When you have ladies coming up, women coming up with instruments, never forget the contribution made by the first instrument talent. Having said that, I think we should have made the film, not, uh, uh, not the family. And um, I, I would make an offer to her and to all of you. D.D. Bharti has been able to reinvent itself from what it was about, say, five years ago, and people are watching it very avidly. We have, we have reports from you, and we are always welcome more and more suggestions how to make D.D. Bharti the premier channel of musical channel, musical and cultural channel of India. I think I owe it to the honor that the nation gave by conferring the task of taking up culture. In fact, I, I, I might now say that now since it's all many years old, I took it up voluntarily when four of my colleagues refused to join the secretary culture because it was beneath their dignity. Anyway, so now we come back to this uh, prospect there is a strong chance that we may be heading to a 24-hour classical music channel and how we are fortunate. No, 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 I'm frightened. No, we are heading, I, I need, we need support if there is any, any problem because, ladies and gentlemen, believe me, the problem is not with political people. I'm telling you with experience after 40 years, they have certain issues on hand, but in last 40 years, I've really never faced that amount of problems for political persons. One or two exceptions have been there. They, 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 they crossed the red line, but uh, they got it. They saw that little red card or yellow card. That's okay. It keeps happening. Problem is convincing my colleagues. And I don't know why I need to convince. When a Prasar Bharti has an autonomous board and everything, why we need to convince? But then uh, our colonial system will go on for some more time until more agitations will set these free. Now, having said that, that reminds me of another thing. In other words, this channel will be, is, is on our drawing board and uh, our board will take a call on it very soon. But then we have to negotiate our way through the labyrinths of bhavans, prasasanic bhavans. We'll see what can be done. That reminds me of another thing that uh, the film also mentioned about national artists. One and only time it was done. Uh, she's factual. In 
2003-4, an idea was taken up by the uh, by the government and by Prasad Bharti, and um, a national artist samman was conferred upon 26 uh, very very deserving luminaries, many of whose names that are mentioned. When you give a samman like this, or when you give Gijya Devi a samman, you actually give yourself a raise in life. Lata Mangeshkar is not waiting for your samman. She is voice of India. So when Prasad Bharati or the government took upon itself to confer this in recognition of our contribution, they were actually honoring themselves. About three years ago I took this up and the final list of 72 persons has been made. That itself is taking two years. And I, Mr. Gately has been, our new minister has been kind enough to take up, take, take it up, and I'm sure something will happen, but I still can't understand why so many questions should be raised after uh, this thing. So we hope that the national artist will not be a one-time affair. The national artist, Samman, will be there in perpetuity to those to whom the nation owes it on certain very objective principles. That should be got through. And... Uh, DD's archives, I can only assure you, we can't have uh, the maximum applause when was when uh, Shadrani we played on this road. In other words, people are waiting for, yearning for more and more uh, digital or archival versions because we can't hold on to them forever, however much we love them. So their versions that come up on film would be a substitute, a bit of a poor substitute, but still a substitute. And since technology provides us with this facility, it is time to took up the job seriously. We have been able to extract about 20,000 hours of such productions in digitized format. We are waiting for the procedures to get over. We hope that within a year we should be having at least 10 to 15,000 hours packaged into proper programming. Ready? I hope. I will hope. Okay. The last. Mm, word that I mentioned here is that we talk about uh, we owe it to ourselves to salute to brave women <coughs> who broke new grounds. Um, as I said, as, my, as, I, as I felt for my father who permitted my mother to be completely free, I think it is also time for us to take a call upon those husbands who also played such a major part to set them free and to ensure that they reach the highest points of the talent. A word, a clap for Vibhakti With these words, I thank all of you for giving me this occasion and most of all, Nidhya Devi who has been sitting there, I will all... Thank you very much. Thank you very much.